sometimes we have to use other methods to get that career path and and we might have to get into a little bit of agribusiness to provide the means to the end but uh, there's lots more to exhibit to the horse industry than just putting that saddle on uh, I think there are courses right now at UNL that offer uh, uh, nutritional aspect of, of raising horses breeding uh, health health and safety of the animal and uh, I would I'd start them right down the road to to come to uh, UNL and perhaps even just talk to you about the uh, the aspects of getting a, a major in equine science. Now you couldn't do that when I was there, but uh, now this is an opportunity for people to get a degree in equine science. Maybe they want a little business on the side or a little production on the side. But if somebody uh, believes in the horse industry, there's more opportunity today than there's ever been. You know, you've got your breeding operations that you could go work at, uh, of course, be a veterinarian, that type of thing, and probably make a little more money. Uh, the horse trainer deal is um, is pretty tough. Uh, you, you, if you have the talent, it can be real good to you, but it's real competitive, and and it's a tough one to get to the top of that, that heap, but uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so if, if you're not real worried about money, you can have an awful good life. Just, you know, you'll make a living and have a lot of fun doing that. Uh, the horseshoe and kind of the same deal. It's uh, there's about as many ways to do it as you as you want to do. So if a kid says I want to go down the road and I want to train horses, um, you know, and they can ride, they've done a little bit. What would you suggest that they do, you know, to kind of try to be successful that route? Oh, I think probably the best way is to go work for some of the known trainers for a little while. Um, it's you've got to have good ability but you've also got to develop your people skills and you've got to get your uh, you've got to kind of be known and have people know you to make it really successful so uh, if you can kind of ride somebody else's coattails for a little while until you get your deal going it's an easier way in. I really believe that a four-year degree is truly hugely important I don't care what you're going to do the most successful uh, trainers that that I know the most successful breeders that I know all have an education. I mean, you have to go out and get your education because you need to have the, that kind of provides you with a well-rounded look at what the economy is, um, what the marketplace is like, what your industry is like. You're not going to get that same level of confidence in your ability to, to perform if you don't have the education. So I would suggest strongly they get an education um, and, and you can start out very easily, even here at, at UNL, uh, going in to the, you know, what, it, what, depending on what type of an industry you want to go into, but just go into the, uh, the, the animal science program. It's much like going to med school. You go to med school and then you decide what your specialty is going to be. And I think you have to get in a program like that that's dedicated towards educating you and giving you a good feel for the all-around um, possibilities for education and for employment and then you'll kind of figure out what you do best. I went to school, I was going to be a banker. For a while I wanted to be a coach and a teacher. I went to school and I took one accounting class and I said, wow, this is so easy, it's so much fun, I am intrigued by this, I became a CPA. I mean, you'll find out what's going to happen, but you need to first of all pursue that education. And I guarantee you, if you have the desire to have any type of an occupation within the horse industry, you will find, they'll find a place for you. If you're a very talented person with an open mind and very progressive, they will find a place for you.